Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different now. I'm going to be talking about MAPPA and Jujutsu Kaisen's Season 2's key animator and how they responded to the MAPPA conditions. As most people know, especially if you click on this video, these conditions are horrible. These people are overworked to say the least. And I'm going to talk about it because I think uh, this is a very interesting topic. It's a very sad topic. And here we go. So... Starting off, recent surveys in Japan indicate that nearly 70% of anime workers face mental fatigue due to their jobs. That's 70... I don't know how many people work there, but I'm going to assume... Let's throw out a number. Let's say 10,000 people. 10,000 people do anime for a living. Animators, specifically. 7,000 of those people are fatigued with mental stress because of their jobs they are working. That's not specifically MAPPA. That's like the whole shebang. That's everybody over there. So, Bappa, as most people know, they made Attack on Titan, Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen, and a few other shows. Very big hitters in Japan as well as the U.S. They are making a lot of money off this, I would assume. And the key animator for Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Kosuku Kanto, if I said that name wrong, I'm sorry, put some stuff online because he was like, uh, this sucks. I'm just gonna go talk about it. So the disclosure basically includes this. One of his main complaints was he was waking up coworkers every three hours to meet deadlines. By all means, this is bad. One, this is making these are real people, like actual people. Animators are over in Japan. This is what's happening to them. A person did not make it home that day. They slept at work. Because they were so exhausted from doing their job. This is a three hour incremental period to meet deadlines. Now I don't know if this means like they slept for three hours and that was it for the day. Or they slept for three hours, maybe crashed for nine hours, slept three hours, woke up. These people don't have a sleep schedule. They're most likely sleeping at work or in some place at work. And they didn't make it home. So these people probably don't even have an actually home balanced work life at all. This like their job is their life for the duration of the creation of this show, essentially. That needs to change. I don't know how to change that. I would say the best option I would suggest, and they're never gonna hear me say this, and they probably know this, is just extending the deadlines, making it not so egregious. But in their mind they're just gonna say we want money as fast as possible with the highest quality possible. And according to a lot of people, Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 is an extremely good show. So they're obviously getting the quality, but making someone's life or your worker's life suffer for that is not, not good. They should probably extend the deadlines, should as in they really should consider doing that. In order to make this a more achievable de like deadline, essentially, so that they can achieve that with still creating really good product. Next up. We got Kanto creating a post that's now deleted expressing the desire to swift end to his life. He's not only waking up people that are probably saying, like, most likely thinking the same thing, if we're be totally honest. If you are slaving at your job for this long to the point where you're getting crashed out at your job with no at-home life balance, I mean, it, it would be safe to assume they'd probably be thinking the same thing. So we're talking about probably an, an industry that's having a lot of people have really bad thoughts against themselves that probably include up to potentially taking your own life. And if that's the case, they really do need to uh, rethink some things at MAPPA and maybe you know Japan's government can step in and maybe help out these people to make a better work-life balance. I don't know how to really fix this. I'm just talking about it. It's, it's really bad. So, this created a lot of uproar, outrage, obviously, because a lot of people like to just talk about stuff, and this is very problematic, so people are going to talk about it, including me. So, a lot of people came out expressing their support for the MAPPA creators against MAPPA, with one of them saying, instead of making people write a pledge to avoid complaining, could you please create an environment where they won't want to complain? And that's very true. If, uh... If you make an environment where people come to work and they are happy to come to work, chances are they won't be complaining really at all. 
they might say some stuff against the company because work in general just kind of blows. But, you know, if you create an environment that's not hostile towards them to where they feel like they're still human at the end of the day, they're going to, you know, like like working there. And especially if you tell someone not to complain, dude, that's crazy to ask. That's That alone is scary to ask someone to do that. If, that, if, if you have to go into a job, apply for a job, and they tell you that when you get here you can't complain about anything, you should probably not take that job. I'm just saying. But, yeah, this is MAPA. What can be done? I'm not for sure. I really don't know. Like I said, expend, extending the deadlines, letting people have an actual schedule probably would help. Because it doesn't sound like they have a schedule. It's kind of just like work until you exhaust, wake up, and then work until you exhaust again. And they make it like, I feel like it'd be generous to say they get a day off. I don't even think they get a day off. I think it's like probably like a seven day a week thing with like maybe like one day you get like a like a generous amount of like five hours of sleep instead of three. So ultimately, these conditions are bad. If you do watch Jujitsu Kaisen Season 2 and you know this going into it or you learned it afterward, I personally would tell you to not... I don't want to say this in a bad way, but don't feel bad that you watch the show because of this. Don't like MAPPA because they treat other people like this. Because the thing is, this show would have most likely came out regardless of how they treated their employees. It just really... It's really sad to see that they treated their employees the way they did to make the show come out as fast as it did. If they took their time with this show, it would have came out probably in the same way, just in a longer time frame with more happy um, people. So... Ultimately, I mean, BAPA is a horrible company, it sounds like they need to really be put into check. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a good day.